Hi friends and uh, welcome back to Parshitis Pharmacology. Today is part 4 of uh, Palmer Radio Wines. And uh, today is one of the functional and anatomical uh, discussion uh, regarding topic that is secondary pulmonary lobule. It is one of the basic structure and function unit of the lung as you can say. So why we have chosen this topic? Today topic we, we will basically study two things. One, what is secondary pulmonary lobule and how to locate it on a CT and on what are the various diseases that we can narrow down to diagnosis just based on the location of the nodules in the secondary pulmonary lobule. Okay. So first what is pulmonary lobule? Pulmonary lobule is a small part of a lobe. So what are the two types? That is secondary pulmonary lobule and primary pulmonary lobule. So before exactly going into the detail, let us study in brief the Webel model of lung. The Webel divided the whole of the lung from trachea to alveolar sac into 23 generations starting from trachea bronchi bronchioles and the radio terminal and the terminal bronchial as the name suggests transitional bronchial respiratory bronchial alveolar ducts and alveolar sac so what we are interested here, here is from the terminal bronchial to the distal means including the terminal bronchial the part of the lung including the terminal bronchial to the alveolar sac is secondary pulmonary lobule and the part of the lung distal to terminal bronchial to alveolar sac means excluding the terminal bronchial is asinus that is known as asinus as I can as I have marked here means the part of the lung distal to terminal bronchial means that includes respiratory bronchial alveolar ducts and alveolar sac is asinus and the part of the lung distal to respiratory bronchial which includes only alveolar ducts and alveolar sac is primary pulmonary lobule. So what is the definition of secondary pulmonary lobule? As a structure of the lung supplied by 2 to 5 terminal bronchioles and it is contained by fibrous septa. So let us see the CT diagnosis to understand this definition. So on the left hand side you can see the CT here and, and you can see here in the yellow markings these are the secondary pulmonary lobule because these are the terminal parts and so they will be present in the and you can see here in the yellowish boundary. Okay. On the left hand side is the CT diagram and the right hand side is the diagrammatic representation. As you can see each of the secondary pulmonary lobule is surrounded by a fibrous septa or a connective tissue septa which has a own which has a own terminal bronchiole because all the secondary pulmonary bronchioles are formed by 3 to 5 terminal bronchioles. So they have their own terminal bronchiole and they have their own pulmonary artery and they have a pulmonary vein. And within the secondary pulmonary lobule as, as I told you there are there will be asinus and within the asinus will be primary pulmonary lobule. So one primary pulmonary lobule means multiple primary pulmonary lobule will form one, one asinus and multiple asinus will form secondary pulmonary lobule. So now we came to know how, how to lo localize the secondary pulmonary lobule on a CT scan. So after localizing just based on the distribution of nodules in the secondary pulmonary lobule we can narrow down, narrow down to the diagnosis. As you can see here, there are three basically basically three type of distribution of the nodules in the secondary pulmonary lobe. What are those? Random, centrilobular and perilymphatic. Random. As the name suggests random, there is no uniform distribution of the nodules. It can be present anywhere, either in the periphery or in the center. These are known as random. So what are the diseases which show random type of distribution? Miliary TB, and metastasis and fungal infection. These are the first three dif differential diagnoses for random nodular distribution. Second comes the centrilobular. As the name says, the centrilobular, centrilobular means which are within the center of a secondary pulmonary lobule, which is away from the septa and away from the pleura, are known as secondary pulmonary lobule. What are the differential diagnoses here? Here it will be mycobacterium tuberculosis and other bacterial infections. And some of the fungal pneumonia can also show no centrilobular appearance. Third is perilymphatic means it is distributed around the septa and around the fissures where that is where the uh, lymphatics lie. So what are the differential diagnosis here? Silicosis, sarcoidosis and lymphangiatic carcinomatosis. So just based on distribution of nodule we can it will be random central or perilymphatic we can narrow down, narrow down to the diagnosis. Okay. First we studied what are the what is secondary pulmonary lobule, what is primary pulmonary lobule, what is asinus and how do we localize it on a CT and then what are the different diseases based on the distribution of a nodule ok thank you thanks a lot if you like the video please share and subscribe and we will be next week i will be back soon with another sign thank you all for the patience listening